All right, so the first thing that I see when I get to the back of the, the wall, Stephen, is um, I see that there's some more blanket back here. Same, no refractory at all back here. No refractory at all back here. The same style that we have in the front wall. These were all modules pressed in here, and then they're, they have a spray put on them to seal them to keep them rigid. Uh, same design. Again, reflect heat, not absorb it, and make the, the boiler itself a lot lighter for moving up and down the road. These are uh, the, the uh, rear wall tubes. Uh, they they create a whole lot of heat transfer because again they're they've got the the fire the the hottest gases coming right against them uh, and again that's that's twofold one to, to to generate some more heating surface to generate some more steam and to try to keep as much heat as we can off that rear wall you can see these things are staggered to keep that that heat the direct heat off of that rear wall then we've got slots in here in between these tubes where they don't have these fins on them and that allows for those flue gases to go around and they're still hot gases. We're still in that, you know, 2000 degree, 1900 degree range when they hit this rear wall. So that those gases will turn, go up the sides all the way to the front and then turn and go out the stack, which is in the center and the very front of the boiler on the outside.